I'm really just inspired by the world around me. I am a college senior here in Syracuse, New York, and I just authored a book entitled The Handbook of Drone Photography. Here in Syracuse, I'm part of this awesome group called the Skyworks Project. We've tried to appreciate the world around us by flying drones. The way to really get a photograph or a video that stands out for me has always been perspective. I used to use a tripod, almost as like a fly fishing rod, to try to get different angles on my subjects. So when drones came out, it really opened up my eyes to different ways of telling stories, where I could kind of appreciate the breadth and scale of the world around me, which I think is really refreshing in a world where 300 million photographs are uploaded every day. The thing I think is such a game changer about drones is they kind of own the space just out of reach of the longest selfie stick and the lowest hovering helicopter. I've always been about staying in that range, not going too high where you can really compress the world below you and not going too low where you can kind of get it from the ground. But my book is really about giving people that world and trying to teach them how to approach it. Just get out there and explore and practice it. That's how I learned how to fly, really by crashing into trees and, and all sorts of different things like that. The number one thing you could do is get one of those cheap trainer drones. You can crash it and not worry about it. And you can really learn the craft of how to fly and how to control your aircraft. What's incredibly exciting to me is how quickly the technology is evolving. Whether that is new sensors for obstacle avoidance or new features that allow you to track different objects and make videography much more of a breeze. Drones are really like this brave new world and that's what's so exhilarating to me. 